Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. Let's see what's the energy that's surrounding you guys this weekend, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Guys, please remember only take what's yours leave everything else behind if you would like a personal reading my website's information is down in the description below that is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading okay all right my loves I do call on the Holy Spirit I call on the white light that guides us I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us show me spirit show me what it is I need to see for my Virgos this weekend what's the energy focus a lot of you guys are extremely focused this weekend you have your eyes on something all of your attention we have protection good luck so there is some good luck on your side there's a feel good energy for a lot of you guys there's a positive energy for a lot of you guys whoa yeah there's a possibility I do see signs and synchronicities I feel like for some of you guys, you're laying boundaries. There's a lot of reflecting card down. Give me a sec. There's a lot of reflecting. A lot of you guys are focused on forward movement. That's where your energy really and truly is. A lot of you guys right now, present moment, there is an energy here of protecting your peace and your balance protecting your money yeah there's for some of you guys there's travel there's global travel happening for some of you guys you're going to be actually working this weekend some of you guys you're visiting family members there's a lot of looking back there's a lot of looking back energy there's a lot of memories a lot of nostalgia I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're thinking of what used to be the life that the life that you've come from to where you are now. There's a lot of nostalgia here. A lot of you guys could see a lot of signs and synchronicities. I have 12, 12. I have 11, 11 here. There's an overall energy of being extremely focused. I do see that for some of you guys, there, there's some luck in winning some type of money or some type of money coming into your life. Some of you guys, you're traveling this weekend. So some of you guys, there's money coming in. For some of you guys, there's travel coming in this weekend. There is protection against, I feel like it's your spirit guides protecting your energy, guarding your boundaries. Because I feel like for some of you guys, there may be certain people that are in your environment are trying to come into your environment to kind of disturb your peace. And I feel like there is protection here. Something is destined to be. There's something in you guys' life that is destined to be. And I keep looking at this hand. There's like a wonder. There's like a wonder in you guys' heart, in you guys' mind. There's a, there's a sadness, there's a sorrow, but there's something in your life that is destined to be. I feel like you guys will be receiving some confirmations. You could have been born on, I have September 1st, September 10th. I have August 31st. I have August 26th, September 18th, September 20th. And some of you guys could be 40 or will be 40 this year. I feel like a lot of you guys right now, present moment, there's an overall energy of extremely focused, protecting your boundaries, your money, going towards your destiny. A lot of you guys, you're paying attention to signs and synchronicities or you need to, or you need to. 
It says, kiss my grits, no thank you, walk away. Some of you guys, there's an energy here this weekend of you knowing your worth. There's someone here that you're going to be standing firm. Someone here that you're going to be standing firm with. There's someone here you're going to be saying no thank you to. What is it that my Virgos are focused on this weekend, Spirit? What's this focus for this weekend, Spirit? Oh, taking care of yourself. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. It says self-love, relaxation, regeneration, replenishment. So for a lot of you guys this weekend, this, it's about you taking back, like taking back the love, the respect, taking back like control of your own life itself bringing that focus back into yourself there's a big energy of you guys bringing focus back towards yourself self-love self-respect replenishing your mind body and soul a lot of you guys are taking it easy this weekend a lot of you guys some of you guys could actually be taking spiritual baths what's this protection spirit for my virgos three sheets to the wind some of you guys will be blowing off some steam this weekend. Some of you guys are being protected by some type of overindulgence. Some of you guys are trying to escape your problems. And I feel like your angels and your spirit guides and your ancestors are there with you. Yeah, some of you guys may be trying to blow off some steam. Some of you guys may be a little rebellious this weekend. Some of you guys, you could be overindulging this weekend. And there's, there's a protecting hand that's on you. Hmm. there's a sadness there some of you guys you may be tr you, there's some there's a feeling that you don't want to feel or some of you guys you may actually be dealing with somebody here that could be overindulging or trying to escape it, their problems and this is like you yourself it's like you're this person's protection you're this person's helping hand you're this person's protection from the evil eye. This could be for you or this could be for somebody that's in your energy. Show me this good luck for my Virgos. Oh, I saw this card. Give me some sugar. Bonding, someone's favorite. For some of you guys, it's going to be some hugs and kisses this weekend. Somebody adores you. Some There's snuggling energy. There's pillow talk. Like... For some of you guys, you have good luck right now, present moment when it comes to a relationship. For some of you guys, you are someone's favorite. You are someone's favorite. And there's some good luck when it comes to a relationship. This could be a friendship or this could be a romance, a romantic relationship. Somebody adores you. Somebody wants to bond with you. Somebody you've bonded with. Show me these possibilities that's coming through this weekend from my Virgo spirit. Oh yeah, some good times. Swinging on the front porch. For a lot of you guys, you have some good times coming through this weekend. Some of you guys, there's there's an energy of relaxing. Some of you guys could be doing doing things outside, going on nature walks, swinging on the front porch. It says cozy feeling, slow down, be in nature and thankful. There's unlimited possibilities. I feel like for some of you guys, there's an energy here of you needing to be in nature. There is an energy here of you needing to be in nature. I feel like this weekend is really and truly going to be all about you replenishing yourself, replenishing your mind, body, and soul, your spirit. Some of you guys, you may be overindulging or dealing with someone that is being overindulgent. I do see like for a big group of you guys, someone is going to want to spend some time with you this weekend. You are someone's favorite. Someone does adore you. There is some pillow talk and there is a lot of snuggling and kisses, hugs and kisses going on. What's this confirmation? Oh, abundance. Wow. Fertility, belief, sucker, growth, warmth. There's a new beginning in, in your prime. Some of you guys may actually like come into some type of money. 
like even if it's something small like some of you guys you may go out and buy a lottery ticket or something some of you guys like if you like if you're gambling or something like that like there's an energy here of winning some of you guys you may you may truly um get pregnant this weekend there's growth there's new beginnings there's fertility there's abundance hmm for some of you guys there's a growth within your spiritual beliefs Hmm. Some of you guys could actually be doing some type of spiritual retreat this weekend. Yeah. Show me boundaries. Communication. Honest communication. You will be receiving some news, some surprising news this weekend through text message, phone calls. There's a revelation here. Somebody wants to, sh somebody's sharing some information. It says holler. There's some honest communication that's coming through for you guys this weekend from somebody that you've put up some boundaries with this is from somebody that you've put up some boundaries with this could be a family member somebody that has been to your home or somebody that you've lived with before but this is somebody here that you've put up some boundaries with and you're going to be receiving some communication from this person honest communication somebody's trying to find the courage to come in and talk to you somebody wants to share some news with you What's this destiny for my Virgos? What's this destiny? Well, that just deals my pickles. So it says total contentment. It's a yes, success, wishes granted. A lot of you guys are mastering a skill. There's a joyous resolution. You're going towards your destiny. And I feel like for some of you guys, you working on your destiny, you going towards your destiny. There's an energy here of lonesomeness. For some of you guys, you're working on something, you know there's a feeling, there's a gut feeling that everything's going to work out in your favor. There's a gut feeling that everything's going to be wonderful at some point in time. But I feel like there's also an energy here of it gets lonesome. It definitely gets lonesome for you guys. For some of you guys, you will be walking away from someone or something. Knowing your worth, finding the strength. As I see at 12, 12 on the clock. Some of you guys, there's an energy here of you finding the strength. Yeah, that's double confirmation because I have 12, 12 p.m. here. And I just saw 12, 12 here. Hmm. Yeah, some of you guys, there is a, there's a lot of good times coming through for you guys this weekend. A lot of good times coming through. A lot of self replenishing relaxation self-love hugs and kisses there's a lot of potential of growth hmm show me spirit show me what's coming through for my virgos this weekend show me what's coming through for my virgos this weekend the moon talks about hiding emotions Talks about like cannot hide emotions anymore. Strong Pisces energy. Like someone can't hide their emotions anymore. I feel like there's like. There's a higher. I feel like for a lot of you guys there's an energy here of like dealing with your family. Matters within your home. And there's an energy here of something's for a betterment there's an energy of something being oh so sad oh so but it's there's this is almost giving me an energy of like it has to happen i feel like someone here is hiding behind a fog a stained glass like someone's vision is blurred someone's vision has been blurred that's really and truly, and I feel like there's an energy here of having to come out of the posture and deal with stuff. I feel like for a lot of you guys, like this weekend, there's an energy here of you having to face something, having to deal with something. This is you coming from behind that stained glass and facing. For some of you guys, it's facing your emotions, facing your fears. Show me spirit. Two of Wands. 
Yeah, some of you guys, you, you, you're you waiting for someone. There's people traveling in. I feel like for some of you guys, you're waiting on some communication from someone here to see, like, it's like there's an energy here of some of you guys waiting on communication from someone to see what is your next steps. Trying to figure out what's going on with other people. It's like you're putting, there's an energy here of you kind of waiting. You haven't stepped out as of yet. You're waiting to see what's going on in your, with people, in your family, in your environment. It's like waiting to see what they want to do, what they're do, what they're doing before you take action. There's a decision some of you guys have. There's some decisions here. There's a decision here. And I feel like there's a lot of contemplating what is the next steps. I feel like there's an overall energy for a lot of you guys this weekend. Like, what are the next steps? Queen of Swords, you're trying to do right by all parties. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're trying to do right. I feel like there's there's a lot of honesty coming from your mouth. A lot of honest, direct communication that's coming from your mouth. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Like, you're not about any BS this weekend. With that Seven of Swords, this is telling me, like, look, you're ready. With that Queen of Swords and that Seven of Swords, you're ready to, like, cuss somebody out. You're ready to, like, hurt somebody's feelings. There's an energy here of you're, like, being honest. You're being direct. You're doing your best to be justified to do what's right by everyone, all parties involved in a situation. It's a very emotional situation. And there's like an evaluation that's happening for a lot of you guys. It has to do with your family. But I feel like for a lot of you guys in dealing with your family and dealing with matters within your home, there's an energy here of you trying to stay close to God. There's an energy here of you praying because it's like it's like there's there's there is a fine line between making it and breaking it. That's really and truly. It's like there's a very, very fine line here. Show me spirit. Knight of, Knight of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. That's a strong, strong energy. Talks about swiftness. Talks about taking action. This talks about like speaking truth. This is honest communication. As I see 1717 17 on the clock. This is some honest communication. This is a lot. There's a lot of communication happening. There's a lot of honest communication that's happening this weekend. This is about not worrying about anybody's feelings. This is honest and direct communication. And there's a lot of energy here of people may not like it. But I feel like there's an overall energy of righteousness. Like people just, it's, it's almost like I'm hearing like keep it gravy. Like no bullshitting. Don't come over here with that, with that seven of swords. With the BS. That's what I'm getting. Both sides of this is telling me like you're like, oh no. You're defending, you're in defense, you're protecting what's yours. There's an overall energy of you protecting what's yours. For some of you guys, you're protecting your peace, you're protecting your home, you're protecting your family, you're protecting your boundaries. Like, don't, it's like, don't come over here with that foolishness. Big old energy. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. Justice, yeah. Libra energy talks about choices talks about choices you got a lot going on I feel like for a lot of you guys this weekend there's you have a lot going on show me I feel like you have a lot of decisions you see the stress the anxiety the sleepless nights that's why you don't have time to play with other people you got too much going on you have things that keep you up at night. Some of you guys, you may have experienced some type of nightmare itself. This could be within your within the actual your actual life, or just this could just truly be a nightmare. There's a sadness. I feel like there's an energy here of you guys trying to stay strong in the mix of this. And I feel like the only way you guys are able to stay strong in the mix of this is by you staying standing firm. This is like you trying to turn off your emotions. A lot of you guys, there's an energy here of you turning off your emotions to be able to deal with people, places, things, situations. Show me spirit. Mm, 
Ace of Cups. Yeah, you don't have time. That Ace of Cups then came dead smack out in the reverse. Nine of Pentacles. You're focused. You got too much going on and you're extremely focused on you. A lot of you guys, this talks about independence. Like you're, you're having to do too much by yourself. You're having to worry about too much by yourself. You don't have time to be emotional. You don't have time. There's an energy here of a blockage with that Ace of Cups that came out in the reverse. Like you not having time to, to wallow. There's an energy here of you not having the time this weekend to wallow in, I'm hearing self-pity. Not having the time to wallow in your emotions. Not having the time to just cry. Hmm. Show me. Page of Pentacles. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy talks about an offer. There's an offer. There's an opportunity here. Eight of Wands. Communication. So somebody is coming in with some type of offer, some type of swift action, some type of communication. Again, the chariot. Somebody's traveling. Some of you guys, you could be having family members, friends, uh, romance partners, however this goes. People that are traveling in to see you, to talk to you. This talks about wanting to turn, like wanting to change what's current. Somebody wants to have a very deep, somebody wants to dive deep into a conversation here. Somebody definitely wants to dive deep into a conversation with you. So whether this is you wanting to conversate with someone or someone wanting to conversate with you, there's a lot of direct and honest communication coming through for you guys this weekend. This is like all unemotional. There's This is a lot of being in you guys' head. A lot of you guys, this is about logic. This is not about heart. There is no matters of, e there's no emotions. There's no love. This is just, this is all about justice itself. A lot of you guys, you're focused on doing what's right. There's an overall energy this weekend of you doing what's right. Show me spirit. Show me what's coming towards my Virgos this weekend. It's coming towards my Virgos this weekend. Wow. Okay. So we have Leo. Talks about shine. That's your fifth house. That talks about romance and creativity. Like that's talk. that talks about for some of you guys, there's somebody here that has feelings for you. For some of you guys, you may get some type of new idea this weekend. We have Palace Athena. This talks about a lot of thinking. A lot of thinking going on this weekend. And then we have trine in sextiles, symbiosis. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's a lot of signs, a lot of synchronicities that's coming through for you guys this weekend. A lot of signs and synchronicities coming through. And then we have Mars, motion. Hmm, this talks about action. This talks about a lot of moving parts. This talks about how you're moving. This talks about how you guys are moving. There's a lot of strong, strong feelings of like someone here that cares, someone here that loves, someone here that wants to show that has compassion, someone here that their heart is open to you coming through this weekend. Yeah. And then we have Saturn structure for some of you guys. There is someone coming to your home this weekend. For some of you guys, there's some focus. For some of you guys, there's some revamping of your structure that's happening this weekend. Hmm. I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to have a lot of vis visitors this weekend. You could have one or many. Big, big energy. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos this weekend. Show me. So we have to be rose. It says dangerous pleasure. The secret of reaping the greatest fr fruit 
gratefulness and the greatest enjoyment from life is to live dangerously. Wow. Hmm. It's, it's polyanthus tuberose. And it talks about dangerous pleasure. It talks about living. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you see how this reading really and truly didn't didn't surround emotions and love and romance really and truly on your part. It was a lot of headspace, a lot of honest and direct communication, a lot of loving yourself, being focused on self. There's an energy here of living a little dangerous, like taking a chance. For some of you guys, you think, you think, you think. There's a lot of thinking. As we see this here, there's a lot of thinking. Some of you guys could have been born on August 30th. I have September 5th. I have September 22nd. There is a lot of thinking going on. Some of you guys could be 52. But there's a lot, a lot of thinking going on. And I feel like this is like, to, it's almost like Spirit is saying to, to really be fulfilled, to really be fruitful. There's like a gambling here. To really enjoy life is to living it on the edge. I feel like a lot of you guys, you've been living life safe. I feel like a lot of you guys, you've been living life in hermit mode. And I feel like spirit, your spirit guides are wanting you to take a chance. For a lot of you guys, it is on romance. But there's an energy here of you taking a chance on life. To truly enjoy this life. To truly live life to its fullest potential. There's an energy here of you needing to take a chance. Some of you guys, you may choose to turn that around this weekend. That's a big, big energy. Alright, my loves. That is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. Bye, guys.